notes here. If you've wanted to add conditional logic to your forms, you can now do so with the Cadence Advanced Form Block available in Cadence Blocks. In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can use this so that you can show fields when you wanna show them. And we're gonna use the same form we've used for a previous tutorial where I showed you how to use hidden fields to track the success of your marketing campaigns. I will link that in the description box below. For this demo, we are going to take this RSVP form and we are going to show based upon what people select as a part of their meal preference for Sally's Cat Blog's fundraiser. We are going to have an event and at this event, we are going to have a meal. We want to know what it is people would like to enjoy. So in order to do this, I am going to open up my list view so that I can see the form elements that we have. Here we have our meal preference radio buttons. If somebody selects omnivore, I want them to choose which meal they want. Vegetarian, they have a couple of options. And for vegan options, they'll also have a couple as well. But I only want those options visible if they first tell us what their overall meal preference is. Now, in order to do this, we have to add three fields. Those are gonna be radio buttons as well because we want them to select one thing and one thing only. So let's go ahead and add those. So first, we're going to add a radio button and this is going to be omnivore, if I could spell. And then we are just gonna have two options here. So they get beef or chicken. You never select the fish if you've ever watched that movie, Airplane. So we have the omnivore preference. We're going to add another option here, and that's going to be radio button as well. And this is going to be vegetarian preference. We're going to have a couple of options. We're going to have eggplant parmesan. The other option is going to be a portobello mushroom risotto. And then for our vegan friends, they're going to get a couple of options as well. And for our vegan preference, a roast cauliflower baba. And we are going to have tofu tacos. So we have our three preferences here. And I love that over here on the left sidebar where we have our list view, we can see all of our various things. So for our omnivore preference, for this particular radio button set, we go over here and we see we have settings for this specific field only. And I wanna set this up as a conditional field. You see over here, you have to enable conditional fields. And then we want to show this only if on our meal preference, that selected option is omnivore. So that will only show if omnivore is selected. For our vegetarian friends, same thing. We want to go to advanced options for that particular radio button set. Go to enable that. And we're going to show only if the meal preference is equal to vegetarian. And for our vegan friends, we are only going to show that particular radio set. We have to go into advanced, go to conditional, enable that. And we are going to show that only if our meal preference is set to vegan. So we have our form all set up. We're gonna update that page. I have that page visible over here and I'm just gonna reload it, make sure we've got all of our changes in here. And now let's just test and see how that conditional works. So I can go ahead and fill this out. If I choose omnivore, there are my omnivore selections, vegetarian, vegan. In this way, you can have conditional fields show up based on other fields within that form. Let's look at another example because there's some things I'd like to show you that you might want to watch out for. So Sally is going to have a contact form. She has name, email, but she is also always looking for individuals who are willing to adopt or looking to volunteer. So if somebody is looking to volunteer, she has some how you can help selections here as well as the available times. Now these she would like to be conditional she only wants those to show if someone answers yes to this particular field. So she has yes and no in here. She does have the placeholder set up for choose one. If you do not set up a placeholder and your conditional is the very first thing and that's auto selected, let's, let me just show you what happens here. I'm gonna update this form. 
I do have conditionals set up for these four, how you can help as well as available times. If we look at those, I have those set up with conditional fields. Would you like to volunteer is equal to yes. So if I take off the placeholder for that particular field, here's what happens. That conditional is auto-selected. So we want to add a placeholder here like we have on are you looking to adopt. We want to make sure we have that. Otherwise, these will automatically show up. So let's go back to our contact form. Let's go to would you like to volunteer. And we see we have yes and no here. Let's go to select placeholder. And we're going to just enter choose one. Now, when we update that form and we make sure that page is updated, we head over here. And now we have, would you like to volunteer that choose one is the default that comes in. So now when we choose yes, we have those two fields coming in. And as a reminder, you need to set up conditional on all of the things that you would like to show up. So both of these have conditionals set up on them for these particular radio buttons. If we choose no, we see those go away. In this way, setting up conditionals, no matter how you're doing it, is super easy. Thanks for watching.